Welcome to TNL Physics. What I'm going to talk about today is I'm going to talk about single slit interference. Not to be confused with double slit or Young's double slit or diffraction gratings, this is single slit interference. And it goes back to the principle of diffraction. A wave is going to come into a gap and it's going to spread out. So this light that is going to come through is going to go through this gap and it's going to start spreading out. Remember, the gap has to be either equal to the wavelength or smaller for this diffraction to happen. Now, what happens is that as the wave spreads out, different parts of the same wave are going to reach the board at different points in time. And this means, so if I just draw this on for you now, if I get the red pen, Okay, so as my wave diffracts, what happens is different parts of the same wave is going to reach the wall at different times. So this wave, this part of the wave will reach the screen quite soon, while this one's going to take a little bit longer. This means if we're looking, what happens is the wave starts interfering with itself. And you start getting interference happening you get an interference pattern. Now this is the screen, this is the wall here. And as you may guess, you would get a really, really big bright bit right here. Okay. But, as we've got a curve going on, what happens, we start getting some interference. And we start seeing these dark and bright bits. At this point here, for example, the first sort of bump that you get after the, what we're going to call the central maxima, so the central bright bit. This bump here is where the waves are actually slightly out of phase with each other, but in fact, they're out of phase by one whole wavelength. So here, the waves interfere by one wavelength. I'm using lambda there. At this point here, the waves interfere by two whole wavelengths. So they're still in phase, but they're one wavelength out. So the wave is sort of arriving a little bit later than it should do. These dark bits, or minimas, is where the waves interfere half a wavelength out. And if I recap, being half a wavelength out is being an antiphase, destructive interference. This is a single slip. The waves are coming through and they're arriving at the screen at slightly different times. This causes some interference in itself depending on when it arrives at the screen. Is it a whole wavelength out? Are we going to have constructive interference? Are we going to have destructive interference because the wave's going to be about half a wavelength out? For an exam you'll be expected to be able to draw this for a single slit interference a very bright central maxima, and these sort of diminished little bumps either side. This becomes far more pronounced when we start having two slits or more, and that will be featured later on in a video about Young's double slit.